Okay. Dermot, the book of the month. This will be this. The book of the month is a book on body language. Uh, it's an old book. Uh, just I knew there'd probably be more recent books discussed here today. It's my first experience being here today. This uh, covers. Sun Tzu is two and a half thousand years old. Which oh well, okay. So well, I'm just talking about publication, right? So, and. Um, People have, we've all heard that, you know, communication is supposed to be 55% body language. If that's the case, we'd say that this book has uh, very strong messages for us. Um, uh, we communicate, I suppose the great phrase is you, can't, you cannot not communicate. You communicate by everything you do. And I was interestingly watching the body language of people here as they finish their ping, sat back, their piece they sat back, or where they get agitated or got interested. Or, and we cannot not communicate. So we communicate by everything we do. From a business point of view, um, the point is that managers communicate with staff. I had an interesting exercise recently. I was looking in here and I was talking about the way you address people and how you face people, eye contact. And some people are very comfortable with eye contact. Some people are intimidated by it. Uh, the average eye contact is apparently two to two seconds. And if you made it three seconds, people would find you more interesting. There's obviously getting to a point where you could stare at somebody, intimidate them. Uh, interesting concepts like that the reason why we shake our heads when we're babies is goes back to breastfeeding. That when a baby had enough, it would, shake, it would not want to be fed anymore. So that's where shaking the head came in. And, uh, or a rip off the nipple, but anyway. Yeah, um, in terms of people, if you look at the lo lovers walking along the road, whoever has the dominant hand holding the hand is the one in control of the, the relationship, apparently. Um, <laughs> but if you took it that 55% is body language, 38% is tone of voice, and 7% is the actual words and vocabulary we use, if we believe that, um, I do a lot of telemarketing training. I suppose the point is that video phones come in, like we're looking here at Adon here today, that the visuality of when video phones come in, body language will become even more relevant. And uh, interestingly, I was in the States last year, and they were saying that body language um, is, is as a dying art now, that people are texting and tweeting and twittering, and shyness levels are going up in the world now. So that when people are face to face with, face with people... Um, it's, it's posing quite a challenge because people, people are uncomfortable as they always were with public speaking but now a manager getting in front of a group who was promoted and never addressed a group now suddenly has to stand address them who does he address the comments to is there eye contact and um, when people respond do they fold their arms and lean back intimating I'm not interested I'm defensive so uh, I suppose going back to the point of, uh, some people would feel this is a very airy fairy subject other people would say there's an awful lot to this so preparation goes in people will generally prepare their written words but they probably wouldn't prepare their body language. So I suppose the message for business would be you maybe need to consider this as well. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm.